This part of the western German city of Dortmund isn't exactly what you'd call a top address. It may look quiet here now, but a quick browse on the internet reveals that until recently, Ravensberger Straße was a center of street prostitution. Up to 80 women offered their services here, with customers coming from all over the Ruhr Valley region. Many of the women were Roma from Bulgaria. Es kamen eben sehr, sehr viele und immer mehr. A very large number of them came. The pressure got so great that the Dortmund City Council decided in May 2011 to close down the street prostitution here and to ban street walkers from the entire municipal area of Dortmund. The hope was that the women would return to their homes in Bulgaria. And this is where most of them come from, the district of Stoliponova in the city of Plovdiv. Some 50,000 people live here, mostly Romani families. And everyone here knows about Dortmund. Nijcha worked the streets of the German city for two years. But she missed her child too much and returned home. But she says she has good memories of her time in Dortmund. Life in Germany was good. My clients treated me better than my own husband does. We did have to hide from the police all the time, and there were many fights among the women. But I want to go back as soon as my son is big enough. The pull of Dortmund is still very strong here, as social worker Aisha Guleman knows all too well. She regularly visits the families of women who are currently in Germany or have just returned. Aisha doesn't try to discourage the women from illegal prostitution as she knows it would be pointless, but she does advise them on matters of contraception and sexually transmitted diseases. Today she's visiting Nijcha. Aisha has heard many stories like hers. It's one she knows from her own family too. I know an awful lot of women from this district who are in Germany right now. My own sister-in-law is there too. My brother lost a lot of money playing cards, so he sold his wife to a pimp. She's been there for more than 10 years now. This part of Stoliponova is locally known as the Dortmund Blocks. Some interpret that as a sign that the desperate state of affairs is slowly changing. Since money has been coming into Stoliponova from Germany, there's been a noticeable improvement in living standards. People are better dressed, have better contacts with Plovdiv high society. They go to good restaurants and even travel as tourists. The mayor invites us to take a tour of these improved conditions, in the company of the chief of police. But we see no good restaurants, and it seems Plovdiv High Society is living it up elsewhere. What we see is houses with no running water and filthy muddy roads. Most of the district's inhabitants are unemployed. Many are illiterate. As we arrive at the office of the Roma Foundation self-help group, our high-ranking escorts get cold feet, citing other pressing engagements. But the chief of police has one final point to make. The German police had a huge problem with prostitution in Dortmund. They asked us for help, so we sent some of our officers to them. And now the problem has finally been solved. The women of Stoliponova are back home in Bulgaria. The Dortmund police were able to get the situation under control with our help. When the social workers hear this, they cannot believe their ears. Aisha promises to show us what's really going on. Around the corner, at the Western Union booth, business is brisk. The men of Stolipanova come here to pick up the money their wives send back from Dortmund. 
It's understandable that they do not want to be filmed. Only with Aisha's intervention do we get away unscathed. The social worker is well respected here. There are three of these booths here in the street alone, and they're busy all the time. It may be expensive, but it's the fastest way to get money back home. So you see, our women are still in Germany. Suddenly, the chief of police appears with a letter from the Dortmund police, which he says will back up his claims. But it seems the letter was incorrectly translated. There is no mention of the situation improving. In fact, the letter asks for even more Bulgarian police officers. For many people here, the faraway streets of the Ruhr Valley really are paved with gold. The women may have been driven out of Dortmund, but they certainly haven't gone away. They are just working the streets elsewhere. And that's unlikely to change, as long as life as a prostitute in Germany seems better than life back home in Bulgaria.